Welcome back everyone, I hope you've got your popcorn ready, as we're going to a lot of cutscenes. You can kill me if you want, but then you'll be running from them for the rest of your life. <laughs> we're really entering the last stretch of the game here. On a purely aesthetic level, the geometry is beautiful, but what really lifts it out is the pain the man must have gone through to have it indelibly printed on his skin. A primitive, but fascinating right. He obviously thought the pain was worth it for something he could take to the grave. And as we all know, in the last bits of any move your game, everything needs to be explained in long ass cutscenes and such. So we got these two. Finally. Carter, it's so good to meet you at last. I've been following your progress with great interest. Listen, if you had any hand in killing Chris, when I get out of here, I'll kill you. Childish, I know, but you get my point? You're in my world now and in no position to make any demands. Anyway, I had no hand in this. So who did? I believe it was Softec. That can't be. It, it, it was their data that I stole in the first place. You were the perfect homing pigeon. They infected you with a logic bomb, so you would have to become a construct. They knew you would seek me out for the download code. But surely Softec could get the code another way. I'm the only one with the code. If I were to download you into your body, your brain would contain a residual copy of the download software. Well, then they'd have a download and an upload code? Precisely. Imagine a piece of software that can duplicate a human mind and store it on a computer. Software that would allow a person to make a computer copy of themselves and continually transfer that copy to and from a human body forever. Then they would own the technology of immortality. Think of the miracle of it, Cutter. Even you can appreciate what this means. Why should a man labor all his life to achieve things, and when he's finally succeeded at something, Mother Nature snatches him away? All because his dumb flesh body has decided to pack up. This way, the great thinkers can keep going. Their work can increase. Think about it. What could Newton have taught Einstein? What could Socrates have taught Sartre? The mind boggles at the evolutionary steps we could take. And what could Genghis Khan have taught Hitler? What would the world be like with them? A minor point. More than likely, Softec will reduce it to the most desirable product ever put on the market. It will tip the balance of world power in the favor of whoever has it. But how could they be so sure that I'd end up here? They couldn't control all the incidences which led me to you. Simple. They had someone betray you. Who? Before we learn that, we first need to... Uh, solve a little puzzle, which is the last puzzle of the game. Your memories are fragmenting. Your only chance to destroy the burn cycle is to get an antitoxin to the center of your mind. You must avoid the burn cycle defenses. If they strike you, you will have lost a toxin. I have only five, so use them carefully. Pockets of memory still remain in your mind. If you release these, they will help you. I can't help you any more than that. If you can't do it with five antitoxins, I'm afraid that your brain will fragment into a billion pieces of code. It's just avoid uh, the little blips and get to the center. And these... Apart from being very, very, very obnoxious, also wipe the screen clean of all those uh, nasty fire I uh, in there so and of course being a CDI title this is pretty hard to control so you might see me fumble here and there come on there we go and oh oh boy that was close Let's see if we can, uh, let's not see if I can sprint for it. Let's sprint for it now. I said yellow one was getting pretty close. There we go. <laughs> now the counter is done. You better tell me who set me up. Oh, that's simple. Doc has been working with Softec for some years. 
He served you up to them like a fish on a silver platter. I have access to Doc's internal security cameras. We have to warn Gala. Deal will kill her. I have warned her, but I'm afraid we're powerless from here. We can only watch. Listen up, Cutter. This is how it shakes down. Every minute you're in the Televerse with my software, I'm gonna cut off a piece of that sack of shit you call a body. And I wouldn't worry when your dick's gonna go. By then, you won't have a hand to stroke it. I like Dealey. I want to go back into my body. Dealey will kill you as soon as that happens. There is another way. What? I could download you into a spare body I keep in the lab. Do it. Not so quickly. I'm a businessman, Cutter. This is a transaction. What is it? What do you want? I've managed to keep my death secret for a long time. But it won't be long before I'm discovered. Then even my own company will exploit my work. I can't let that happen. What can I do? What's left of me is in the lab. My brain contains the only backup copy of the software. When I download you, take it and leave the city. Is it a deal? It's a deal. So it's time to get back into the real world with a new, oh, enhanced body. the new us a woman's body well that would make a change no kidding not a bad model either I wonder how it works oh you're gonna have periods and such nothing too big man that must suck anyway let's uh, get uh Vialis remains here, which is just, uh, it's not really a puzzle anymore, it's just point the right uh, way and you've got it. But yeah, having a woman's body, that's pretty, uh, pretty fun uh, end of the game. I wonder how that works, I mean... You've got, uh, you're going to have men all over yourself. That's gotta be kind of conflicting. But on the other hand, you can fall in love with yourself too. That sounds bad, I know. So we're done here, we've got his body thing. Or brain, it's more likely. So let's get out of here. But since all these cutscenes have taken so long, I'm going to end uh, just before the ending of the game. And we'll just put that in its own video. A woman's body would be perfect disguise. My old one was running down anyway. I figured in this body it would be safe to go back to the hotel. No one would recognize me. I had left a couple of things I needed before I left the city. Yeah, and don't you have the keys in your uh, other pens, so to say? Oh well. Let's save up, and as you can see, it's the If Cortex and Softtech wanted to have their own private war, that was up to them. I was tired of being a grunt. No more timer, but the hotel is the final uh, scene of the game. So we're pretty much done, but you're going to have to wait that for tomorrow. See you then! Later.